Alright. Right, so we're going to continue where we left off. We've done the uh, body of the rocket ship. Let's just continue. I'm going to get me my perspective view as well as my side view. So I go to panels, photographic side. Now we're going to do the uh, rocket's wings here. Yeah? Um, and I'm not going to use the guide here. I'll just do it rather intuitively. And for that, uh, I will go to my um, shelf here, the NURBS shelf, and get me a NURBS circle. Right, my NURBS circle is there, as I, as I can see here, in the outliner. So let's see, it's that one there, looking very small indeed. Right, so if you don't know where it is, it's a good idea to kind of find it inside the outliner or you can press W and immediately you'll see that the manipulator shows up. With this, you can bring it to the side and you'll see that that's your um, circle. Press F to see where it is so that it frames uh, in the viewport. I will actually turn it 90 degrees in the X axis. Enter here negative 90. Sweet. We'll just make it big. Press R to access the scale tool. Push it here. Make it kind of big there. I'll leave the perspective viewport on so that you see what I'm doing. All right. So I'm always alternating between the um, between the um, sorry, <laughs> between the move tool and the rotate tool and sometimes the scale tool. So I go W E W E R W E R to do that. Yeah. So if you're wondering how the tool changes, it's I, I use my shortcut rather than clicking here, here and here. W E R is my shortcut. So right, let's continue this. I'll angle it that way. So we don't want a really fat wing, so I will actually scale it in X and make it a bit smaller this way. Not too bad, I'll say that's okay for now. It will be a bit fat, I think, so I'm going to just make it a bit taller like that. Alright, that will do. So Control D to duplicate that and bring it down. Rotate it, just choose the X axis. So the idea is we want it to be a bit smaller or fatter, depending on what you're going for. But I'll fret, I wouldn't fret too much if I were you. I'll just um, let me just think. Mm, let me go here, here, here. I can tell you what, I kind of know how this is going to look like, so I'll bring it in a bit. This one will go here a bit. So that it will actually curve that way. Yeah, it's okay. I can fix it later if I want. All right. All right. Let's just move on. Duplicate that one more time. Bring it outside. Rotate it. Move it down here. I'll just rotate it even more. Um, a bit closer. Control D. Bring it down. Rotate it. Alright, my computer's a bit slow, so just bear with me a bit. I want to scale it down a bit, so I'll just use my scale to bring it down a bit. As always, we can tweak this later. Control D again, bring it out. Rotate it even more. Certainly, this is not going to be correct the first time. It's going to look ugly the first time. That's okay. Press W, bring it here. Control D one more time, bring it here. Rotate it. Make it a bit smaller because it's supposed to be a bit smaller. One more time, Control D. Bring it down. Rotate it. Bring it here maybe. Scale it down. Some of you might know where I'm going with this. 
if you don't just uh, wait until the end and you'll see what's going to happen to my uh, surface okay I'm actually a bit um, a bit stressed because my computer is a bit laggy because of this but I decide I'll just show you what happens this is going to look a bit ugly but it's okay we'll live with it so I'm going to select the curves one by one beginning with the first one until the eighth one I'll go to surfaces and I will actually say loft let's go to the options and see this is pretty much the settings that we have by default so I'll close that and that should be okay surfaces and loft and you get that shape like I said it's looking ugly now now's the time to tweak it all right so what I'll do is I'll just uh, make my side X viewport big press space bar there with the help of uh, my outliner I'm able to select each one of this and we will try to tweak this until we get the right shape going so I know that I want it to be kind of uh, rotated down there uh, sorry bent like that so we're going to have to do something like that alright you just have to live with this quite slow uh, screen capture video there's nothing much I can do about it because I'm working off a quite slow laptop here I have a feeling that my hard disk space is about to run out well I have this SSD that I bought a um, couple of years ago and that kind of helped to extend the length or, or um, the, the lifespan of my laptop here um, I had thought of actually throwing this laptop away <laughs> because it was really really slow this is not too bad really this is actually helping me uh, model a bit although not as smooth as I want it to be as you can see here that's okay we'll live with what we have try not to complain too much you can complain but try to be minimal with your complaints alright so basically what I'm doing is I'm tweaking each one of these curves one by one while you know looking at the shape that it produces as I move one circle and the next and I think this is where we should kind of get it to be small so that's what I will try to do right it's almost there maybe why don't you become the small circle you will become the bit fatty one all right here's a tip here's what you can do actually and I I just thought about it it's a good idea to perhaps just hide that so that we have a lighter scene going on and you can actually work a bit faster perhaps all right I don't want to run the risk of producing a really long video so at some point I will actually end this uh, this demo is just to give you an idea of how to work with the loft tool it may not be the best demo possible but I hope you get the idea not because I don't know how to model this it's just I'm really working very slow here and it doesn't help when your PC is lagging when modeling you want to always have um, 
really solid um, machine that's able to give you fast feedback when you're working and I think I managed to make it look much uglier than before that's okay we'll try I'm gonna um, try my best I'll get this with time uh, okay hold on just be patient with this yeah it's not too bad really it's not a great idea but it's not too bad you ever heard that saying before not too great it's not bad but it's not too great idea if any one of you knows where that line came from which movie it came from do let me know I'll be surprised if you know where that came from okay tell you what this is not too bad and let's just live with it it's not the best thing I, uh, that I could produce but yeah we'll just live with it but that's basically how you approach um, even pressing spacebar doesn't work now okay that's how you approach the um, loft to you can resize it um, angle it rotate it I mean and uh, play with the position to achieve that smooth surface and if you spend more time with it I'm pretty sure you'll get to this uh, while you know opening up two views at the same time if you want uh, to tweak it and see the changes that it does when you move one thing and another so they all work in tandem each curve is not independent they they kind of it's independent but they kind of work together to form that uh, nerves shape so work with it until you get the right shape and once you do you'll be happy and you can be uh, proud of your accomplishments so i'll end the video now and i'll see you in class bye